why do people who seem to do you so wrong and who do you so dirty, why do these people seem to get away with what they've done to you? I want you to stay tuned to this video from the beginning to the end because we're going to answer some of your questions that you all have had. You've written in through email as to why the people, I'm talking about the people who hurt you. Why does it seem that these people get away with every single thing that they've done to you? Because the people who have the power to bring these people to justice refuse to do it. You have the power and you are the person that has the authority to bring these people to justice. But for some reason, you allow these people to keep entering into your life, hurting you over and over and over and over again. Now you have to ask yourself a question. If I know people are hurting me, if I know this person is the, isn't the best thing for me, why am I allowing this person to stay in my life? Why am I inviting this person to re-enter my life? Why am I doing this knowing what I'm getting from this person? When you know that people are hurting you, when you know a person isn't good for you, and you allow this person to stay, and you tolerate, and you put up with this negative, dishonorable, and disrespectful, painful, hurtful, traumatic behavior that they're giving you, it is your fault. We hold the power. We hold the key. So how do we stop people from hurting us over and over and over again? When that person refused to take accountability for what they've done to you, when a person just absolutely refused to take responsibility for what they've done, because I want you to understand something about people. People know what they do to you. They know how it's going to affect your life. They know how it's going to hurt you. But you have people that suffer with mental illness. You have people who are narcissistic. And you have people in this world that are not empathic people. And you have people in this world, unfortunately, who don't sympathize with another person's feelings. They're closed off to emotions. How do you get over this? How do you not get yourself in this situation? For one, whatever you do, you can't go back and forth with this person. Asking this person question after question after question. Why are you hurting me? Don't you see what I do for you? Don't you understand how I'm not fighting against you? So you're going to ask this person all these questions and you're not going to get the answer that you deserve. They're not going to give it to you. It's just like where people hurt you and you want to have a sit down discussion with the person that lied to you, with the person that manipulated you and deceived you. Why do you want to sit down and listen to what a liar has to say? Don't you know that this person is going to lie to you, manipulate you, and this is an opportunity for this person to make you feel even worse about yourself? I want you to understand this about life. Whenever you ask yourself, let me call this person, let me email this person, let me set up a time to Zoom call this person so that I can get the closure that I deserve. Your closure is all the hell they took you through. Your closure is all of the lies and the manipulation and the deceit, all the broken promises, all the damage that they've done to you, all the trauma that these people have taken you through, all the embarrassment, all the shame, all the guilt that you feel, all those negative emotions. You think about how you put your life on hold for people that don't even deserve an ounce of your time. You think about these things, but how does it seem that these people that hurt you get away with what they've done? That's because the person that is being hurt, the person that is being injured is not holding these people accountable. And you have to ask yourself, and this is a tough question, and you have to answer it honestly and truthfully so you don't keep attracting people that are harmful, that are going to hurt your life. Why do you do it? For one, why do you invite these people in? Two, after knowing what they've done, after experiencing every bad thing that they could ever do to you, why do you sit there and take it? Because you're broken somewhere. It's a part of you that feels like you deserve it. It's a part of you that feels like you don't deserve anything better. It's a part of your life. It's something traumatic happened to you. You got to revisit this place for the reason of you healing it. Whatever it is about you that accept poor treatment, that feels that you deserve it. You know, the more you deal with hurt, the more you deal with toxic people, the more you deal and sit yourself in toxic relationship, the more that you're going to think and believe and feel that you don't deserve anything better in this life, that you deserve for that person to mistreat you because you are going to identify your worth through somebody else's negative treatment. 
You don't deserve that. But people seem to get away with what they do to people that is not good. People seem to get away with the hurt that they've done because the person that they're doing it to refuse to bring these people to justice. The person that is getting hurt, that person refuses. What is it about a person that is getting hurt by another individual? Why would they not put that person and hold that person accountable for what they've done? Some people are afraid to lose. Some people are afraid to be alone. So they are so addicted to pain and they're so addicted to toxicity. Whatever they can get, they accept. You deserve so much more in your life. Don't accept anything from people. Don't accept poor treatment from people because you don't deserve it. Then you're going to identify who you are through all of that treatment that people give you. This is where you're going to gain low self-esteem. This is where you're not going to feel like you have any worth. This is where you're going to become depressed and you're going to become oppressed. This is where you're going to be in a position in your life where you're not going to be able to trust people because you're going to feel like every person that comes in your life is going to come into your life to hurt you, to injure you, to lie to you, to take from you. No, this is why when people hurt you, you got to hold these people accountable. You better hold these people accountable. You better put your foot down Why you can put your foot down to stop people from hurting you. And if they refuse to respect who you are as a person, if they refuse to change, then you let these people fly the coop. You let these people go. You're not going to lose anything. You have a problem with being alone. You have a problem with being lonely. That is the spirit of loneliness on you. And you need to be okay with being by yourself. Before you can be comfortable with other people, before you can have a healthy, happy relationship with somebody else, you got to be okay with being by yourself. You know, you got to be careful careful with things in society because if you look at the wrong things in life, it's going to make you feel as if something is wrong with you. Let me go grab this relationship. Although I know this relationship is not healthy for me, at least I have one. No, you don't have one. This is what I want you to understand. Relationships can be great. They can be healthy. And you got to be healthy on your own before you're going to attract and manifest something healthy, something wonderful, something great. You can't attract what you want until you become what you want. You got to become who you are for you to attract the kind of people that you want. It's not you, you're a broken person and you feel like you're going to go attract and manifest certain things in your life. It's not going to happen. We're going to tell you the truth on this channel. It's not going to happen. This is why people get away with hurting you. This is why people get away with dragging your name through the mud because you accept it. You tolerate it because you think you have to. You're afraid to lose people. You can't lose people that treat you like that. That means you have a nobody. That means you have a zero in your life. And that means you need to drop your zero. You don't hold anybody hostage in your life. You don't try to hold on to things and people that want to go. Let them go. Whatever wants to die out, let it die so that God can let your life bloom, so that your life begin to flourish. You want good things to come in? You got to be willing to let things go that don't serve your life for the highest good. Is it going to hurt? Of course it's going to hurt. But I can tell you this, you won't hurt forever. You won't cry forever. You're not going to be painting in your heart and your soul and your spirit forever. You're not going to do that. You're not. This is the reason why people seem to get away with what they've done to you. Because the people that have the power to do something about it, they refuse to do something about it. So you have to ask yourself a hard question and you got to be truthful. If you know it, why do you accept it? If you know something isn't good for you, why do you tolerate it? Why don't you get rid of it? If you know a person is not good for your life, why do you keep this person around? Do you think you're doing good by this person that's going to make this person change for you? This person is not going to change for you. People change for what and who they want to change for. People change family on their own. You can influence people to change, but having a toxic person in your life and tolerating that behavior, you being good to that person, it's going to cause that person to look down on you even more. It's going to cause that person to have a lack of respect for you and they will never treat you the way that you deserve. You got to give to yourself what you want somebody to give to you. Whatever you want people to give to you, you got to own it. You got to give it to yourself because you deserve the absolute best. 
Thank you for tuning in to our broadcast today of You Are Enough. We ask that you subscribe to our channel, like and share. Jump over to Instagram at Nikki G. McCray and give us your support at Instagram. Don't forget to get your copy of the book in ebook and paperback format in all of the online bookstores. Glory be to God. Thank you for your testimonials that are coming in and thank you for supporting our products. We love you. We're praying for you. You remember that you got the power to change it. You have the power to do something about it. Do it. Do it. And you're going to thank God that you did it. You got to put you first. God bless. Bye-bye.